Yes then guys, how are you all doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to my channel. Headliners mini release is here guys and we've got three brand new cards available in FIFA 22. We've got Gnabry, Sangare and also the man that we're checking out in this video, Teji Savanier, the Montpellier midfielder is almost Hullet Gang, a mad upgrade on his 85 team of the week which I believe is his highest rated card in this game. But five for eight, high medium, right footed, four star, four star, and 155K he currently cost me. And making our way over to the attributes, what we have here is a really unique, well-rounded card. A couple of stats that really stand out to me are the balance, the agility being really high. This man should feel super liquid on the ball. Incredible interceptions, the stamina, the aggression. I'm expecting a little feisty pit ball in the middle of my midfield. Going forward, he has something as well. It's out position and finishing, shot power and long shots. You never know with those stats. He definitely should be able to find the back of the net. Pace, I bought him with a shadow chem style. I probably would recommend that's the way to go because you get a big juiced up on the pace there, plus eight across the board. Same with the defending, you get a nice little boost as well. Passing stats should be prime Perlo-esque, pulling the strings in our midfield. Overall, a fantastic looking card. And now this adds to what already is a fantastic league. Being the league earn with a few insane uh, midfielders available like Hassan Mawa, for example, Gwendozi, Winter Wildcards. I was originally using him. So we will compare uh, this man to those boys in this player view. In regards to the trace, we got Flair outside the foot shot and a couple of CPU AI traits. So the car looks really decent, guys. Very affordable as well. Let's give me the team we're going to use him with. The boys, the boys. As you can see, I have just uh, pretty much wasted my coins and fought it in my club on this Pierre Emmerich Obama Yang SBC here. We're going to try him out again in this player view because maybe he's a certified baller and I'm yet to really click with him. The rest of the lads, we've got Gabby Martinelli, Saka, Kapue, Awa, and then the back four is Davies, Upa Makano, Big Rio, Klaus comes in here to get a strong lead into Savania, and then Rambo's in goal. So we're actually going to test Savania out as a box-to-box -box center mid on the right-hand side here. We're going to try and get the most out of his attacking attributes and his defensive attributes as well. Box-to-box, -box, up and down, he's got the stamina to be able to do that role quite nicely. I'm a little bit excited. Let's see how well he does. Hopefully, he is an absolute baller. And let's not forget, headliner cards are live cards. So this man probably will get an upgrade at some point. I don't think Montpellier, well, I don't know, to be fair. They may get four or five wins in a row, however many it is, to get the upgrade. Or every single team of the week that he does get from now on, this man goes up by plus one as well. So a live card. It's exciting. Let's hope he is a baller. So for this, we are hopping into Division 1. I am two wins away from getting that elite division. I hopefully will hit it before Thursday. But what are we up against? My man's got Gwendozi, so it's a battle of the French midfielders. Apart from that, it's a very stat-looking team. But come on, Sabanier. Teji, my boy. I'm confident. I do also want to get a Bamiyang on that score sheet. I'm not satisfied with the cards yet. Ridiculously expensive. Probably not worth it, but Bakayo. Oh, boys, that would have been a dream start if we had bad that. The star boy Bakayo Saka already causing a madness. What well done, Upa. Love that from you, lad. Let's get it to the man. Savanier, here we go. First touch on the ball. The pace, he doesn't feel ridiculously quick. That's fine. Dribbling wise, feels pretty damn snappy, quite responsive on the older right bumper control there. Nice, easy read. That's one thing I'm expecting this man to excel in is the jockeying. He should feel super quick, super agile to kind of defend with. Going forward though, he's got a bit of pace, nothing really incredible. But the dribbling stat itself feels really nice, which is a big bonus. Obama Yang, little double A here. We kind of want to test the attacking attributes bombing forward. Nice little run. He's been blocked off there, lads. The referee has been paid off, is official. <sighs> it's not my day today, boys. It's one of those where I'm tackling the man, but it's never going back to me. Nice the deception for the man. Travelling along that midfield line quite nicely and he's bombing forward. The stamina is lovely. We got a bit of space over there. But Obama Yang. <laughs> like, why have I done this SBC lads? Why have I done it? Obama Yang! And the keeper saved there. Alright, we're gonna get this goal, boys. I'm feeling pretty confident right now. Go on. In the space. Cross the keeper. Powell was there. Keep composed. Into Bakayo. Back across. Damn it. Lovely. This is where Bama Yang should go. Savanier, that's fantastic. Orba just doesn't have the pace, lads. Or Bama Yang does not have the pace. I can't believe I'm saying it. Come on, Savanier. Lovely. Little roulette there. 
On the left foot. Not a bad effort. So far, I'm really enjoying this card as a box-to-box -box center mid. I like the way he carries the ball. He feels super reliable on the ball. It's like glued to his feet. That's the agility and balance right there. The pace, he's not rapid. Don't get it twisted. Even with the shadow boost, he doesn't feel as quick as maybe Gwendozi. Uh, but the acceleration definitely helped carry that up a little bit. It's a bit of play from the boys. Savania over the top. Lovely little ding. Into space for Obama Yang. He's actually outpacing buddy boys. But there's no options here. Apart from Savania inside. Beautiful. One more. Martinelli. Unlucky. Another man rumoured to get a headliner card is our boy Klaus. And if he gets one boys. If it's an SBC. I'm probably completing it. I'm not going to lie to you. Hopefully it's not as expensive as Obama Yang. Uh, but <laughs> I'm definitely getting him in my team. He's one of the best right backs I've used that little at like, 84. Savanier in space. Lovely. Antolva. The double A inside. Bakayo. Definitely doing too much of it, boys, but maybe it's worked out. The block in the last second. Lovely, Gabby. Come on, boys. This could be the chance. Look at Gabby on the edge. We found him. Drill it. Abama Yang. Abama Yang. Man, I'm going to lose my mind at this man. To be fair, I probably should have a lot better than myself. But just because I, uh, I'm hating on a Bamiyang right now, I'm going to blame it on him. Oh, that is a ridiculous save, Donnarumma, mate. Come on. Go on, Saka. Awa through the middle. The dink. Mate, Donnarumma, man. Him and Kimpembe. The whole PSG defence. Oh, I hate him. Well done, Davies. Brilliant bit of defending from you, lad. Come on up, boys. We can move on that carrot attack. I do really need to mix it up. Make some subs. But Martinelli has the legs. Finesse it. Gabby, get lucky. Come on, the boys. We are back in this. What all? Let's be getting it. A couple of substitutions. Saka is going to make way for Fakir. Martinelli is also going off for Benzi, boys. Savanier is going to stay. Actually, tell you what. Pushing back to the CDM role, he looks a little bit tired with the uh, the box to box situation. Kapuwe is also going to come off for Muller. Let's test him out as a CDM for the last 10 of this one. Nice. Already making the interceptions. Lovely stuff. Come on now, boys. Can we get something here? Can we sneak it? Bama Yang's turning up a bit. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm getting a bit excited. As I say that, he's giving the ball away. <laughs> Watch that free ball. Knew it was coming. Oh, nah, mate. Nah, I'm not having it, boys. How? How has that worked out? Fakir. Fakir. Donnarumma again, mate. We're going to fall out, honestly, mate. So we end up losing 2-1. I'm a little bit salty, I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like we potentially could have come away with a W there. At least a point. But overall, Savanier played pretty damn solid. Didn't really do anything wrong, to be fair with you, lads. Box to box centre mid. You can see his heat map by, uh, right there. Definitely more attacking than he was defensive for me. But then when I moved into the CDM spot, he put in a solid stint. Very nice. He's similar to Kante in the way that he's quite small. But he's quite quick to be able to scan across the midfield. Kind of in front of the defensive line there. And he's a really decent card. For the price as well. Very affordable. He is exactly the same price as Gwendozi. 13 shots, lads. And we lose 2-1. Um, I'm not salty. Trust me. <laughs> so at the time of recording this video, it is currently 7.30. Dead on. And my man's price is still in the 130k. So he's very similar to Gwendozi. However, I say that Gwendo tends to be rising day after day. And this man's a live card. So potential upgrade. So for the price that I spent 155k, it's a little bit expensive. Maybe as the current card right here, 100k is somewhat more affordable. Maybe even 80 to 100k. I've seen the way a lot of headliners are dropping and dropping and dropping. This is a mini release. The more we get SBCs uh, and more promo packs, lightning rounds, etc. This man's card probably will drop in price. But overall, as it stands, this man is fantastic. A really, really solid midfield option in the league. And very easy to link in with the likes of Klaus, Awa, all the French boys. There's like 7,000 mad French special cards in this game. But if I was to currently compare this man to Gwendozi at this current state, I probably would prefer Gwendozi in my midfield running up and down, especially the box to box centre mid. Maybe as an out and out CDM, this man is definitely more suited. The interceptions are ridiculous. And with the Shadow Chem style, he does look really solid defensively. 
but it's a big thumbs up for me. Really nice looking card. Going forward, I believe he had one chance. Didn't find the back of the net, but it's not the end of the world. But for the price as it stands, that's 155K, I probably would wait. Don't dive into it, hold off for now, and just see what happens to his price. Hopefully he drops a little bit. Hopefully I've not screwed you over and he doesn't rise up to 200K or anything crazy like that. But big buzz up for me, lads. Four star, four star. Ted G7 here, certified baller. And if you're a fan of Montpellier, let me know down below how you're doing in the league. Is this man likely to get himself that wins objective to get the upgrades? And I mean, he's got two team in a week so far. So, I mean... He's more than likely going to get free, right? <laughs> anyway, guys, I've been Morsi. I hope you did enjoy it as always. I am going to go discard my Bama Yang. Well, I'm going to face part and dwell in the fact that I spent 460k on this man. Drop me a like to show me your sympathy, boys. I don't know what I was thinking. But until next time, I'll catch you very soon. Look after each other. And I'll talk to you later.